John Sheridan is one of 30,000 people who cross the border between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland every day. For this farmer whose fields lie on either side of the border, the concern is very strong. It couldn't be possible. <laughs> you can't. One side is going to be in Europe and the other side's not. Simple as that. So how is it going to work? I, as far as I'm concerned, it can't work. The border stretches 500 kilometers across Ireland, with twice as many border crossings as the entirety of the EU's eastern frontier. On one side, Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. In the south is the Republic of Ireland. For 30 years, this border was the subject of a bloody conflict between pro-British loyalists and pro-Irish Republicans. Result, three and a half thousand dead until the 1998 peace agreement. Beyond the economic consequences, people on the island also fear a return of tensions between the two communities. Our main fears of Brexit is seeing a hard border again after 20 years. We do not want to see this. We have a Good Friday Agreement. There's probably 20 years ago and everyone is working to that. The peace remains fragile. The last watchtower on the border was dismantled in 2007. Peace walls still separate Catholic and Protestant communities in Belfast. Parliament's Brexit coordinator, Guy Verhofstadt, is committed to doing everything possible to avoid a hard border. What we never will allow, that is that Ireland uh, will suffer uh, by the British decision to leave uh, the European Union. That's a commitment that we have taken uh, with the European Parliament, and that's a commitment also that has been uh, taken by the whole uh, European uh, Union as a whole. A resolution has already been approved in the European Parliament, pledging to preserve peace and limit the effects of Brexit on the island of Ireland.